I'm Carl. I want to be a documentarist someday. But today, I'm going to be a humanitarianist. I'm going to teach you some life skills. Hey guys, it's me, it's Carl. Not at my apartment today because they're fumigating it because turns out I wasn't supposed to just leave all my trash under my bed when I finished eating it. But no one ever told me that, okay? Mom, you should have told me when where you put all my garbage. So now I don't know where I had to go and so now I'm here and I don't even have my tripod with me. And it's just, this is a run and done shoot and you're gonna have to bear with me, okay? Okay, so today I was gonna teach you how to fly but can't do that now because we're indoors and I don't have a tripod. So I figured I would show you how to draw a horse. Um, I just want to give you a little preview of what it'll look like. This is what a horse is, okay. Um, I really liked this picture, so I printed it out, and this is what I want to try to draw. Okay, so since I don't have a table to sit at, I'm gonna have to just draw on this white paper, my yellow paper, and in the air, and you're gonna have to follow along at home closely, follow my basic tips, basic tips about how to draw a horse. Now, if you want to do something like this, which is really simple, really basic, really easy, basic, you'll have to follow along with what I say. So what I say is start with first deciding whether you want to draw a horse or a horsey, okay? Because there's a difference. One is a boy, one is a girl, okay? So you don't want to accidentally draw the wrong horse or horsey, it would be embarrassing. So this is a horse, so I'm gonna copy it and draw a horse also. You decide what you wanna do at home. So the first thing about a horse is the body. So to do that, you draw, and that'll be what happens. So it's really simple, really basic. That is the body of the horse right there, okay? That long circle. Next is the head. So you draw it up above the body. There's the head. Do you see it? After the head, the horse gets legs, okay? There are Horses get four legs, not just two, okay? They don't have arms either, so only draw four legs. Now, the four legs end in what we call hoofs. Say it. Say it louder. Hoof. Okay, you're not even trying, so I don't even know if you should finish this video. So they don't end with toes or fingers like we end with. They end with a big hoof. So just draw that and that's how they end, okay? So there's my horse with his hoofs. Next up, as you can see by the horse, is the Mmm, the neck. That has to be there, okay? So you need to make sure you do the neck, which is just drawing two little lines. Really simple, basic. Horses have big noses so that they can smell really well and from far away. So you have to make sure that you draw the nose really big so that they can smell it from far away. So I'm gonna give it a big nose that will make it smell from far away. Next, the hair. Horses have hair. Horses have manes. It's like long and braided. It's how it is. So mine is a man, 
so he has just normal length hair and it goes all the way down the back of their head all the way until it touches the body like so okay next eyeballs how is your horse you gonna see or horse if they cannot see so you have to draw eyes Horses have really big eyes because they need to be able to see really well, okay? Especially because their nose is far away. How are they supposed to see what they're looking at if they can't even look at it from close up? So they have to have big eyes to see. Like that. Next, the tail. As you can see, this is where the tail is gonna go. It's gonna be just like that. It just comes off the horse looks really great and sometimes it's black and sometimes it's brown but I'm doing it in pencil and these are starting to look pretty similar to me um, so for the next thing I want to make this I want to make mine even better than this one okay because I don't want this one to be good so now what do people do is they sit on what horses call saddles and so that way you can sit on it without sitting on the horse because they're dirty. Okay, so this is called a saddle. Now this is basically like a car seat, okay? I sit in them, you sit in them, we all sit in car seats all the time, but this is like a car seat for a horse so that you don't fall out because your mom doesn't want you to die. And then, when in a saddle, off a saddle, there's always little foot straps so that you don't lose your feet. So they're right there, and then that connects right like that. Are you seeing, do you see what I'm meaning? Next is the nose and the mouth. So you just wanna make sure that they have a very clear mouth so that they know where to eat from. There's his mouth, there's his nose. Now he knows he can smell and he can eat and he can see. Oh, but what he can't do is hear until I give him ear balls. So draw those. They're like little bit of mountains on top of his head. They're really tall like bunnies so that they can hear really far away. And now that I look at it, I think it's pretty complete, pretty basic chips, basic tips, basic tricks, and now everything is made and the horse is done. And what do horses say? Hey! So now we have a finished completed drawed horse and now you know how to do that. And you can thank me for how to draw a horse uh, by telling that. So, uh, <laughs> Anyways, so this is Carl, and you have life skills now. So I am, I'll walk, see me late. Uh, mm. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot something. His foot's not up. There we go, now he's complete.